I'm still recovering. Yes, I am sitting here um, in my tennis shoes. Is that one ready? But, oops, sorry, I didn't know you joined me. Hi, everybody, it's me. So anyway, I've got more than one stream going on. So welcome, just make sure you like and follow me. So I have Instagram, I have um, Amazon.com, thank you. Uh, so once again, two live streams going, it's kind of crazy. I don't know if I'll do it this way again, but um, make sure that you look in my bios for my other platforms, just follow and like me on all of them so that uh, if I'm going live on one channel, then you'll get an alert for that as well and you don't have to just be following me on one particular channel. So anyway, today I'm going to be making a sugar-free, keto-friendly pizza. So the reason this happened is, like I was saying, I had surgery on my foot and the inflammation's just not going down. I'm still having problems with it. So I decided I was going to do a sugar-free diet and I did that. My doctor's loving it. I'm still having problems with my one foot. I can only wear one pair of tennis shoes, <laughs> but I, I, I am getting better slowly, slowly, but um, I'm still in process. At least I'm standing on my feet, which I couldn't do. And um, actually I need to stand and I need to get up. So I thought I would do this with you guys <laughs> by my side and uh, make a, make a um, sugar-free gluten, I mean, not gluten, I'm sorry, um, keto-friendly pizza. So that's what we're gonna do today. Whoops, I think we have technical problems. Hold on, what? What's right? You gotta talk to me. No. Okay, well, I won't be talking to my techie anymore. <laughs> so anyway, so um, I'm gonna be starting here. Um, I was gonna pre-do all of this, so as far as um, on Amazon, um, there are two different ways that you can do this pizza. I'm gonna post it and I'll put it, if you're following me, I think I posted it on my Amazon bio, the recipe, but it's not complete, so I'm gonna add that to Instagram and I'll take a picture of a pizza and then I'll put the re full recipe and the entire directions on after that. So anyway, I got a bunch of things off of Amazon, so that's why I am also with you. So if you look on my stream down below, you will see this shirt. Woohoo! <laughs> I love the color. It came in a couple of other colors, and it wasn't too expensive either. So you might want to hit buy on that, put it in your cart, and check it out. Maybe for you or a friend. Anyway, I love the color. Um, I also have a pizza pan for this recipe. It's a 10 inch pizza pan. This actually, they no longer make it, but you can get the Cuisinart, and I put a couple of other options down below in the Amazon links, but I have my bowl, and then of course, you're gonna need measuring utensils. I have my Ninja. My Ninja is the SS351. That's at the bottom of the link as well, and a bunch of other products. So I'm just gonna start making this pizza. Um, and there are two different ways. Sorry for those of you that have cooked all your lives. Well, I have too, but I'm not used to having people watch me do it. So like I said, sorry about this. I was gonna, I was gonna pre prep this cauliflower for the pizza dough, but I didn't have time because of technical issues. So you know how that goes, fun stuff. Anyway, so I'm chopping the, this is already washed by the way. I, I have two different ways to do the cauliflower for the pizza. Sorry, my empty freezer. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. If you didn't know, they actually make rice cauliflower. I'll actually start doing this one first. Um, and this is the one I'll end up using most likely for the recipe because there's two ways to do this. I don't have a microwave. I could get one on Amazon though, right? And you need a microwave if you're gonna use fresh cauliflower. Now you don't need a microwave if you are using the frozen. And you can get any brand, it doesn't matter. I'm just showing you this one because I happen to have it in my freezer. Um, but you do this one on the stove top, you'll see me cook this. The reason I am showing you this, even though I don't have a microwave, is so I can show you my Ninja Blender. So, um, 
And I should have actually brought the Ninja Blender over here because it actually has really sharp suction cups. <sighs> Sorry. Ugh. <laughs> Don't mind me. You just need the florets on this, so I'm going to be chopping them down. So I should say hi to everybody on Instagram. Um, who do we have? <laughs> Let me see. Who's joined us today? Let's see. Joseda, hello, Jameson, woohoo, Big Daddy Dero, and Surapan, awesome, and nice to see you guys, I'm sure there's a ton more of you, but I can't get you to you all, because like I said, I'm double live streaming, and it's kind of hard to do that, um, and for those of you on Amazon, I'm sorry that I, once again, that I didn't prep the cauliflower in time, because then I could just get into my demonstration, but anyway, so... I know that Prime Day is coming up. Are you guys ready to shop on Prime? I hope you guys follow me and I'll be putting some deals up. That's July 12th and 13th. So if you guys don't know on Instagram, I'm an Amazon influencer. And um, <laughs> so you can look in my link in the bio too and you can follow me so that when I do these lives, you can watch and see what the specials are. Okay, so I'm going to get a pan. I thought I had gotten this out. Oh, no. Here comes the noise. <laughs> Whoop. So to do the cauliflower, I need... I thought I got all this down. Hi! <laughs> that was probably a lovely view. Oh, well, don't you just love reality? Okay. <laughs> Um, I didn't actually need that much. Okay. Am I still in frame for you? I have to check this out. We practice. But, oops, I get this down. Anyway, so once again, here goes the cauliflower floret. another day when you would rather have me do this let me know in the comments so I'll, I'll know um, and you know what I just realized I'm not gonna do it like this okay let me use a smaller one sorry I changed my mind midway <laughs> Anyway, um, Amazon links down below. Don't forget, you can get Prime and also get your delivery from Whole Foods or from Amazon Fresh. So that's where I get a lot of my food. I love food delivery. So it's not just about, you know, getting films with your subscriptions and all that. Prime actually has a lot to offer. Okay, so in my corner here, I've got the, the uh, frozen cauliflower rice. I'm trying to make florets here. I'm not a pro cook, like I said. I'm just trying to show you how to make a keto pizza. Because of my surgery, I never finished that story. Um, I wanted to cut out sugar, and I wanted to cut out um, processed foods because they cause inflammation. And so I decided, I don't know why I'm cutting this up, just wait till you see this ninja. Um, and just a warning about this, it's going to be loud. So if you don't want to hear loud things, now is the time to turn the volume down. <laughs> and I forgot, there's suction cups on the bottom of these ninjas. So I'm going to pull it over. Once again, this one hear that? It's suction cups. Is this in the, can they see this? If it's mm. going to be right here, can they see this? Yep. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you how awesome this is. Okay. So there's a bunch of different kinds, but like I said, this is the SS 351. You can find it down on Amazon in my links below. Or if you're on Instagram, you can follow in my bio. I have a link to my 
Amazon, and you can get the link there for which one this is. Sorry, I'm gonna be throwing things around in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, so sorry, I'm doing this backwards. It's a little odd. It has a safety latch. Make sure I put it on there right. I can't do this backwards with. Sorry, I'm not used to doing it backwards. Okay. Er Sorry, that was so easy when I was doing it how I always do it. Okay. So this has a, you can't take it off. Sharp blades. Can they see it? Okay. So, don't want to burn the one we're actually using for dinner. <laughs> I'm going to... Like I said, the reason I'm using the frozen rice cauliflower is because I don't have a microwave. So you're going to see how I do that. The recipe that I will be posting actually tells you to use a microwave. So you need the fresh one. So I'm showing you that here. So I'm going to show you how this chops. Power is on. These light up. Can they see that? Are you positive? Okay. Um, so you move this dial till it gets to chop. Look how easy that is. That is that easy, you guys. That's how. Make sure that they're undone. I don't know if you can see that, but that is rice cauliflower, fresh. It went twice. That's with the Ninja. I love this thing. I also, um, sometime I'll show you how there's also a dough. That's for dough and made a great apple pie. Um, it was a keto shell and that was amazing. And it also comes with other attachments for smoothies. I love my Ninja. So anyway, and it's funny, the man in like your life will love it too. <laughs> so I'm going to get this out of the way. Once again, I'm not using this one because I don't have a microwave. So I'm gonna put that aside, but I wanted to show you how amazing that was. I'm gonna turn off the power and I'm gonna keep up with this. This actually looks pretty good. This won't do it. Sorry, trying to set you up Instagram. Nope. <laughs> Lots of fun when you've never done two streams at once. So I thought we were ready. We weren't, I'm sorry. I just think I was gonna add another one too. <laughs> anyway, so let's see here. My, you preheat your oven to 425. I need Parmesan cheese shredded, so I'm going to grab that. <laughs> I have somebody helping me in here, but this is the world's smallest kitchen. I didn't realize that when I rented. I knew it was small, but I didn't realize quite how small it was. Everybody always thinks, ah, oh, 